Welcome back to Cord Farms. Today is going to be a mowing day. We have three fields to mow, two of which are actually pretty normal. 54 and 107. However, we also have this whole area right here, which I don't really know how it's going to go. So, uh, we're gonna do that first. And we're gonna be using this guy right here. So I've got Cavernlin mowers on the front and the back. However, I have painted them red, red, <laughs> don't say that out loud, a green and yellow. Uh, we're also using our John Deere 7R. Love this thing very, very much. So let's pull up our stuff and give it a little unfold right through here. We'll also go ahead and do that, ba boom. Ba boom uh, we do have a windrow that we're going to be using so hopefully we won't miss too much and we're going to be bailing all of it up and either doing silage or hay i think for uh this time around it is going to be a silage bale kind of day now are we getting any grass off of it uh that would be a negatory good buddy so we're just gonna go ahead and stop that now that was a waste of time now here's the fun part because i've got to be able to get through this entire farmyard without hitting anything. Oh, it's so close. Fortunately, the bowers aren't too big on the back. I think I turned right here. Yes, this is working. This is working. And then I think one field is off to our left here. Oh, I am really high in the sky. There we go. Uh, please open the right way. Yes, thank goodness it opened the right way. Let's go through here. And then here, this will bring us into our first field. Oh, yeah. Let's, oh, this is going to suck, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if I could do this. I'm going to try and do this in first person. Okay, we got a little bit of room to move there. Bring it here. Swing it wide. Oh, I'm trying to do this in first person because I really want to have a little bit of fun. The, uh, the map itself leads to some very nice um, first person farming if you will at least getting around in the farmyard but i don't know if the equipment that i've chosen is a little bit too big to get into these fields it it bounced it did it, it bounced a little bit off a few of the things but you know what we made it in here and we're good to go so now i just gotta figure out how i'm gonna do all of this let's see let's go ahead and bring that out bring it down bring it out bring it down maybe start like right here that could work uh, I am going to miss a little bit on the outside. There's just no way around that, unfortunately, at least the first time around. What I'll probably do is just try and get as close as I can with the outside of the big part of the mower, and then we'll come back through a second time, and then from there, it's just a back and forth game. Oh, swing it. There we go. Very good, very good. I will have to come through and spray this, but fortunately, only once, and that'll be good to go. So, not bad. Yo, and I like the greenness to this. Uh, obviously, the ground is a little bit different, but once you've mown it, it's this really bright color. Kind of reminds me of Oxygen David Maps. Back in Farming Simulator 17 a little bit. I think we saw some things similar to this in 19 as well, but uh, yeah, I'm getting some serious Farm Sim 17 vibes right now. And you know what? I'm pretty okay with it. As I have mentioned before, I am going to be buying that field down there, but I wanted to give myself a little bit of room to grow and a little bit of room to, uh, well, need money. Right now we got about $95,000. Uh, I have replaced one piece of equipment since the last time that we saw you guys, but uh, I don't know when this video is going to go out. And I can't show that piece of equipment depending on what day it is. So uh, we may just have to do that the next episode. Either way, uh, I am enjoying Court Farms very, very much so. Uh, and again, I've had quite a few people asking me, what you guys have seen on screen is the most I've played. Uh, I just have not had the time nor the, uh, uh, the ability to play anymore because I've been so busy with so much other stuff going on right now in Farm Sim and, and uh, just in my life in general. So everything that you guys are seeing uh, is my experience with the map so you're seeing maybe things for the first time like i am all right i'm gonna hit this weird second headland throughout and then i'll show you how i do the rest of it i don't know if we're going to be able to hire a worker on this or not uh, we may end up just having to do this entire field ourselves and that's okay now that that is all done let me show you how i'm gonna do this i think i need to find the longest edge which is going to be down here Although, I could probably go ahead and hit at least one little shoot across through here. 
I think that'll be okay. But we are going to uh, solidify on this straight edge right down here. Uh, one thing about this, I do believe it has multi-terrain angle or MTA. Uh, so if you are, well, on PC, I'm sure the console version will not have MTA. Uh, but you never know. What I would love to do is put this right here and hire a worker. Um, but it is unfortunately going to send it down a little path that may not line up exact. However, that's pretty good. It's not bad. We're going to miss a little bit right here, but that's fine. Uh, we will uh, adjust and overcome and adapt. Ba bam Got it. All right. I'm um, going to clean this up a little bit. We will do that one way around and then it'll be time to finally come through and do all of this ourselves so now i've run around this field one time it is a much larger field than i was expecting it to be but the good thing is it's fairly easy to hire a worker on it so let's bring this right here bring it forward hire a worker this should theoretically do this entire field for us again we are in not that field this one <laughs> yeah, I knew where we were the whole time. While he does that, we are going to be jumping in here in this John Deere 5115 or 5115. I actually don't know how to how to pronounce that. Very, very good looking stuff through here. We should have a... Uh, oh, there it is. Let's see if we can back up to this. I'm really loving doing the first person stuff. I know I mentioned that once already in this video, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep mentioning it until... Till we get it across. Got it. Got the Kubota. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Swing it wide through there. Yes. Very good. And now this is going to be... Ooh, don't go too fast. Come on, DJ. I know you're speed demon, but you can't do it through here. Made it. Made it. Bring it up through here. Oh, I love this. Honestly, like off screen, this is kind of the way I farm. You probably think that I'm just using crap uh you probably think i'm using just absolutely massive pieces of equipment and uh well uh no no i'm not i'm just uh playing having fun can we swing this yeah we got it i'm um, just kind of playing having fun using a little bit smaller equipment yo isn't there another way through like in i think there's a pathway down through here somewhere is it this pathway does it lead all the way down to the bottom to the opening I'm fairly positive that it does. Sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. That's way easier. Man. Well, what are you going to do? We'll just go go ahead, do this the long way, and then at least for the next time, we know we don't have to do this. Nice. Got it through. Read through just a little bit more and go ahead and unfold it. And while we do that, we will close the gate. Sweet. Now i got to get all this done. Uh... And I haven't really thought much about it. Let's bring this here. We will turn it on. We will engage fast farming. I don't know if there's any things that I can do. You know what? I think this is probably going to be more than enough the way that it sits. So we will we will just do a single pass around and just leave it be. Yeah, but it's working. It's working really well. I, I, seeing Kubota in green is awkward, but otherwise very good very good so check this out dude is doing real well i'm almost a little bit shocked that a worker's done okay <laughs> welcome to 2023 all right we'll go ahead and turn this back on i'm still trying to go through and hit the outside lines here but i do have to wait just a little bit on dude man bro right here that's not too bad it's not too bad but this all is working really well this uh five series doing super super good through here and the mower is absolutely killing it really good i i, I knew they make a version of the mower that's got all right there's no way i'm gonna have a worker hit that spot right there yay got it and then let's just lower the back mowers down and turn them on just to hit this little spot boop just like so got it all right so now there is a different way i think into the other field i could easily cheese this but i think instead of doing that we're gonna go on a little bit of a journey down to the bottom of this field where we can hit a spot and then come around the other way so there should be an opening here 
There is. This is good. Oh, we're going a little bit fast. Oh, by the way, uh, finish seeding all the fields since you guys have been around. They have been fertilized once, but as soon as we come through, we are going to have to spray them again. So be ready for that. Now this, I believe, yay, uh, is straight through here. Yeah. I don't know if there's any other way into this field, but I know that this way works. So there's that. We'll go and open up the gate. It opens toward the inside, which is totally fine. Hopefully it opens wide enough. Ooh, it's going to be close. I think we bumped. I'm not sure if we bumped or not. Maybe we didn't. Man, this thing looks just so good. All right, so this is going to be the exact same thing here. I might... Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Finish that or hit this. Oh, decisions. All right, I made my decision, and it was actually made fairly easily. Uh, I'm going to hit this spot first because I can hire a worker on this and the tether I would much rather do myself because it will be much easier in the long run. And one thing I am curious about is these poles in the middle of the field, are they solid? Am I gonna hit it and be mad? Or are they fine and can I just go around them? I guess we'll find out soon enough, but it may not be this little spot. Oh, I could have driven straight across, darn. Well, that actually makes things easy going forward. Because if we're going to buy this field to the left of us, well, in that case, all of these will be grass fields. We'll just mow one after the other after the other. We'll have two ways into all of them, and it'll work perfect. Yes! Never mind. Turns out there's actually quite a few ways into this field, and I just chose the most difficult one. <laughs> yeah, that's 100% on me. Uh, but the good thing is, we've almost finished one pass around this field. Uh, we'll do the, the weird little pass where I hit all the bits I missed. And then we'll do it all again. Um, again, these are, I guess, today the only two grass fields that we're doing because that other one just didn't work. I guess that's okay. Just hired a worker and I'm gonna see what happens here. Probably gonna stop and raise up, yeah, that mower. But they are gonna continue going, at least till they have to. One thing I've noticed is whenever they drop down one mower but raise the other, they always go super duper slowly. And it's so annoying. You know what? While they do their thing, I'm gonna come over here and see if this thing's actually solid or not. Please go through. Crap. So this is fun. Uh, my character just glitched and and now I'm the the normal uh, character. Uh, wardrobe. Man, for, uh, rabble. I gotta do the whole thing again. Where's my mohawk? Now there's my dude. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Trying to get this to look good, but not be completely overboard. And I would say that I have done a fairly decent job. I'm quite happy with myself. We'll go ahead and hire the worker up right there. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Good to go, I think. I really hope. Really, really hope. All right. Where's dude at? Here he is. Let's rock and roll. Uh, this is all pretty much having to be done by myself just because of what I've uh, left sitting around, at least here on the left-hand side. I may try and bring this in a little bit, but I don't know how that's going to work. And eh, turn it off. Also, because of uh, where everything is through here, I might uh, stop it. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I might not be able to hire a worker at all, and if I do... I'm probably gonna have to babysit him the entire time. Uh, so like right here, bring it up, there we go. Hire a worker, hopefully it's straight-ish enough. So coming through, nice, nice, doing good, doing good. Keep it straight enough that uh, they get right to the end and then fire the worker immediately. Bam, fired. Ha ha ha. I think I could, I think I can make this happen. I, I think I can make a job out of this. There we go, hire a worker. And then we'll do it again. <laughs> Last little bit through here. I have ended up having to come through and take away some of the other stuff around. There we go. Turn that off. Uh, looks like our mower is hitting a few last little spots here and there. And then they'll be good. I'm totally going to cheat driving straight through. And then we'll do this. Again, we're going to be making silage bells. They will take us a little bit of time to do. And I have decided as well, instead of trying to spend all this time and effort in cattle, at least to start with, I'm going to spend all the time and effort making money from the silage and the straw that we get. So we are also going to have to find a way to deliver 
some straw bells. Maybe we'll do that today. Maybe we'll do that in the next one. Either way, it is happening. Almost finished up. Now we've got this area here left. I think I'm gonna end up ruining the headlands I made around. There we go, we'll do that. And then hire a worker. Hopefully it hits these spots. Oh yeah, we missed. We missed just a little bit, but I think that'll be okay. And then it's definitely gonna take out part of this. Oh yeah, yes it did. <laughs> well, I'll just have to remember to skip that part. Whatever, I come back. Probably won't have to, won't have to worry about that too much. There we go. And fire worker. And spin around and do it again. And this is going to be the, uh, the final setup for us, at least for the grass today. This is the last bit. This is it right here. We'll hit this and then we will be all done, at least with merging, windrowing, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be done with it. We could take this and go pack it up. We should probably slow down a little bit though because this farmyard is dangerous. Best backwards driver in farm sim. You got nothing clutch. You got nothing. And now for the final act. Bailing. Oh, I love this part. This is one of my favorite parts. So we are going to head in. Uh, we may do this backwards. I say backwards. God, that looks awful. We're definitely gonna have to plow that up in the next one. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and unfold this. I believe I have, is it black wrap on here? Oh, I don't even remember what cut. Yeah, so there's black wrap on here. I think that looks pretty cool. So we'll leave it and see what happens. Drop it down and turn it on. Yes, so grass going through, going in. I don't believe we've got fast farming enabled on this either. No, so uh, this is just the faster fast bail. Uh, the way that it works. And then we should come through here and we should see it wrap fairly quickly. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> and that is why Mark Thor is one of my favorite modders because he makes some absolutely insane stuff that I just, well, I just love so much. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I think he sent me a modified version of this tractor. Oops. <laughs> Forgot to download that, but Mark, I'll, I'll get it for the next one. I promise, man. I promise. All right. Uh, let's get through here. Let's see how we can do. We've already made quite a few bills. As a matter of fact, I forgot to reset my bill thing. Let's see. Reset bill counter. There we go. We made one, two, three so far. So let's see how many we can make off of this field. Hey, I got an accomplishment. What's in the bill? <laughs> hey, that's a wrap. Uh, we're doing okay. So it says 37, which means we've done... 40 bales already on this field. Doesn't look like it, to be fair, but I mean, we are rocking and rolling, pushing through just fine. Boop, there's another one, that's 41. And, and we're gonna have a lot of silage, man. A whole lot of silage. These usually take one day in game, so it won't be too bad to, uh, by 1 p.m. tomorrow in game in September. We should be just fine. We'll go ahead and turn this off, speed it up just a little bit to catch up to. Here we go. And we'll hit this last spot. Cool. So that is that. Uh, I might drive through Dude's Field right here just to get to my other one. Oh, normally I don't care about driving over the other people's crops. Don't have access to this lane. I'm aware. Thought I'd turn that off. Since sitting there trying to bail all of this. What a, just good job, bud. Good job. All right. Well, let's let's hit these weird little bits in the middle, like this guy. There we go. We'll hit this, and then we'll go up to the top and actually do this the appropriate way. And the last pass down. Man, oh man. There were a couple little spots that I missed here and there, so I'm going to pick those up. Uh, we will go ahead and complete this bill so it doesn't just sit in here and do nothing. Uh, eh, birds. What's up, birds? Uh, so this will be easy. It says 73 now. We're going to make one more. So 74 plus 3, 77. 77 bales. Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Pop that. Oh, yeah. I got to turn it on so that it kicks back. And then we will select grass. There we go. So I always cheat that last bale. You guys know I've been doing it for years and it ain't going to stop. So, uh, yeah, you may have to just deal with it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see. Did I leave this gate open? I did. So we'll go ahead and take this gate. We will put everything back away, and we need to 
collect these bells before we do cool uh we need to collect these bells before we take off otherwise they're just gonna be sitting in the field and I don't want to leave the job undone. So we've got a few uh, little spots right here <laughs> that have been putting the bells. Of course, I put them in here, but I did make sure to put them at least far enough away from our straw bells to matter uh, because, well, these are going to have to turn into chaff or silage, rather. They're grass right now. Put it there and then scoot it a little closer. Not too close. Just, you know, a little bit, little bit close. Bam! Got it. And then I think we've got a few more, so definitely not as many straw bells, but we do have a couple more down here. I think there's five, something like that. And then that'll quite literally be it, at least for now. We're gonna take a look at uh, what we're planning to do in the next one. We're also gonna take a look at some crop prices to see how we're gonna uh, fare with that. Boop, ba -doop, and boop. There you go. That is all of the bells. At least I think that's all the bells. Please be all the bells. I have no idea. Um, Again, this field that we're driving through right now, this is going to be plowed up and we are going to plant something here, probably a regular crop. We'll we'll see what happens with that. Now, uh, of course, straw is going to be sold. Silage is going to be sold. So all of that we don't have to worry about. Put this right here. Yep. Set it to do this and plop. Got it. <sighs> Tell you what. <laughs> I'm exhausted. We're just sitting here playing a game having fun, and I'm exhausted. This has been such a fun episode to do. I love doing grass work. You guys know I love doing grass work, and it's been an absolute epic time doing it. So we're going to call it for there, and, oh, yeah, prices. Let's take a look real quick. That is the store twice. Good job, DJ. Uh, so in here, we have over 100,000 liters of wheat. We are going to take that to the grain mill eventually. However, right now, we have barley in the ground uh we will be harvesting that probably in uh one to two episodes somewhere around there and then after that i do want to get into some of the new crops gonna find this we have alfalfa field bean riley seed stuff like that i would love to do something with the new crops have a little bit of fun try them out that'll be a, that'll be a good time none the less y'all be good we'll see you in the next one